Hi, Dave Snyder here. It is the 23rd of March, 2013, 8.47 Pacific Time in California. Sunny California today. Okay, so I noticed I'm not getting much interest uh, in my videos any longer, so I went in search of people that, you know, may be interested and see what, uh, you know, to see what I could find, and I commented on their channels, and and one of them was the Libyan Desert Glass, okay? Well, everybody thinks it was a meteorite that created that, that desert glass. Well, I'm I'm here to show you something here, very important, very important. Not just to you people that are into the you know desert glass or whatever. I thought it was pretty interesting when I watched the video the other day. I watched that documentary from the BBC about it, and it just kind of made me feel so smart. It made me feel like a, like I was so smart, and I didn't even graduate high school. I mean, I went every year of school, but I didn't even graduate high school, and it made me just feel like a genius, basically, watching that video. And I'm not, I, I'm definitely not a genius, but I made me feel that way. Okay, so here you go. This is uh, the South Pole of the Moon. Our moon, our moon in the sky tonight. Go out tonight. It's, oh, it's going to be full in a couple days, but, you know, it's our moon. This is the South Pole of the Moon we see in our, in our sky. Okay, on the Earth, here. And it's flipped over, reversed. You have to flip the picture over. If you're going to put the moon on the Earth, Earth's surface, you have to flip the moon's surface over. Okay, because it's got to be backwards, like a rubber stamp. I've, I've already made a video about this, but I want to make it. I've, I've adjusted this this uh, overlay, and I got it fitting really good. And 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 where it centers, where this impact centers, is right in Libya. Let me just show you here. Let's put the borders on. Places uh, there's Libya right here. Pretty much just centers right there in Libya. Almost. I mean, it's it's basically the center of it. You can see there's the center of pretty much, and this is Libya. Okay. So there's your. This is what creates your desert glass. It's not a meteorite. That's not what happens. It's not a meteorite. Trust me. Okay. So I'm gonna turn these borders off. I'm just gonna show you. This is a uh, Europe and Africa underneath this picture, right here. Okay. Oh, I got another picture in the. Pr oh, I gotta shut this one off over here. That's another impact too. Th th these impacts are all over the earth. If people don't even know, I, it just shocks me. It makes me feel so smart. I love it. I'm not kidding. It does, because this is a this is look. These pictures are from you know reputable space agencies, whatever. I can use any picture of the South Pole of the Moon from any USGS, from NASA, from JAXA, Celine, whatever. It don't matter. You just flip it over and you overlay it with your Google Earth right here. This button right here overlays it onto the Earth. You can flip the picture over using Microsoft Paint or whatever. But here you go. Okay. There's you get oh, that picture ain't off yet. Where's that picture at? There it is. All right, now here we go. All right, I've been doing this these overlays for almost three years, okay? And I've seen some incredible things. This is just this is the South Pole of the Moon, and it fits all over the Earth, all over the place. But look at this. Let me just show you Spain here, okay? Let's look, take a look at Spain. This is how I found this, figured this one out. I should have noticed this a long time ago. As long as I've been doing this, I should have noticed it a long time ago. But I just noticed it the other day. Sometimes, you know, you don't notice things. And when you do, you just look, you know, it's just like a brainstorm. Okay, here's Spain right here. This part right here hits Spain in Europe on the Earth right there. Okay, you see that? That is Spain. Let me show you. See this big, this big crater right here? And you see this line that comes straight from here. Sit still. This line that comes across right here, that line, that big crater. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. See how it cuts through that line? That crater cuts through the line. I don't have a very good mouse pad here. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Now, this, this, see this straight line of mountains right here? Hold on, let me back it up a little bit. See that line right there? You see this, you see this curve right there? And you see how it comes around, basically. And it, it, they don't show you the whole cr whole circle, but it comes around, and there's that crater, and there's that line. It comes right through, right there. You see that? Here, back it off. See that right there? There it is. Back up there slowly. Okay. And look at the rest of it. It is the exact same shape as Spain. This 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 hits here, people. This is what creates your desert glass. This is what this is what all the ancients knew about. Okay, this is what buried Atlantis under the sea. This is what created the, the, the Atlantic Ocean, basically. This, these, this, these impacts by the moon. And people think, oh, if the moon hit the Earth, it would destroy it. And that's way too big to be the moon. 
Believe what you want, I always say. Believe what you want. But you can do this yourself. You can go get any picture of the South Pole of the Moon and flip it over and put it here and you'll get the same result that I did. Alright? It's not a, not a trick. It's the truth. Okay? Here's the Mediterranean. Take a look. Nice and slow for you. Okay. Another way you can you can find these is using the weather. Use the weather because if you, when I turn if you notice if you've ever noticed the weather on the Earth follows the patterns of the land and and the, the ocean floor as well. Here we go. Turn the weather on. Come on, weather. Okay, when you look at the weather, you can just let's just look at South America. See how the the weather is holds to the coast right here it's shaped like the land it follows the valleys and the mountains and things like that on the land see how this is it's, you know and it does the same things pretty much in the ocean well like right now there's a lot of a lot of clouds on the earth a lot of weather and every everywhere you see a circular shape like this in the weather that's an impact by our moon believe it or not okay i'm not joking i'm not trying to to trick anybody to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. I don't have nothing to gain from it, do I? I'm just trying to share some some stuff with you that, because, you know, because I, I like it. I enjoy educating people. If I mean, because I, you know, I wasn't ever, I, I, I didn't really get an education. I, I learned how to read and write and do math real early. And I just, you know, school was useless to me. They, they just taught, they just tried to, it's brainwashing. That's all school is. And I just, I've had enough of it, you know, by the time I hit 10th grade. I went through every year of school, but I didn't graduate. I didn't need to. I kind of missed a lot of days. Had better things to do. See this right here? That's another one. Right there. It's hit the North Pole. It's hit our South Pole. Antarctica is a direct impact. Mare Oriental and the South Pole of the Moon's hit here. Um, let's see. Back it off. Get a little more weather here. Okay. This is an impact right here. By our moon. See that big circle? That's an impact by our moon. Indonesia. Big circle, impact by our moon. Mariana's Trench. Why is it the deepest place on Earth? Because it's been impacted by our moon. Um, let's see. There's another big circle for you. Central Asia. Big impact circle right there, guaranteed. Okay. Every time you see a circular shape in the weather patterns on the Earth, that's that's it's under. They're all the same size all over the place. It's not like a high pressure, low pressure, or whatever, you know, weather pattern. It's it's an impact by the moon. Okay, showing it shows them, it shows them to you. Here's one right here, right here below South America or uh, South Africa. I've lined that up, and you can watch videos I have up about that one, and uh, many others as well. But this is the one that we're t talking about today, and I'll show you another one after this too. But with the weather on, and and that crater on at the same time, sometimes the weather will will confirm it. Now, right now the weather's not cooperating too much. Yesterday, you can watch the video I did yesterday where the weather was a lot better and, and it just showed it showed a whole lot more. It was way more revealing than this. But there, it, you know, there, it has its days. Some days don't really cooperate, and some days really do cooperate very well. <coughs> Anyways, let's just go over this a little bit more in detail. This uh, overlay. Okay. I mean, you can see clearly Spain. That is Spain right there for sure. Stonehenge is up here. I, I marked that because, uh, you know, and I'm not, I'm not saying this crater right here was Stonehenge because Stonehenge was, they made, they built Stonehenge to copy, to copy this crater right here. See this one? This is called Schrodinger. Schrodinger crater is a, is a big circular path. This, it looks kind of, because it's on the side of this picture and it looks kind of, uh, you know, out of shapes. It's, it's actually a perfect circle on the moon and it has this inside pattern, which is Stonehenge. They copied this crater when they built Stonehenge, that crater right there, Schrodinger. Look it up. I've, I've overlaid Stonehenge over the top of this crater. It is exact, it's almost an exact replica of that crater. Almost exact. So check that out. That'll, that's something you, uh, that might interest some people if you're into the Stonehenge thing. And just ancient mysteries that, if you want, this solves everything. This will solve just about everything it's a mystery on this earth. How the mountains were made, how, uh, the, why the oceans are so deep. Um, I don't know. A lot of things. A lot of things. It, it just, 
it just points out that um, the scientists are liars because they, if I know this, they definitely know this. NASA absolutely knows it. And you're you're thinking probably why? Well, if if they knew this, well, they would tell us. Why would why wouldn't they tell us? Well, somebody would know by now, right? Well, people do know. There's people that know, but I mean, there's what, what's the point in trying to trying to uh, talk some to make somebody believe something that, that they don't want to believe? You don't want to believe this. You don't. You've been told all your life that the, that the moon's just a little, you know, rock in the sky that pulls our tides, and that's it. And it's always moving away from the Earth. Always. They always say that. Always moving away from the Earth. No, not always. You got to remember the poles on the Earth have reversed many times. And you know that. The scientists tell you that. But they don't tell you what happens when that happens, do they? The moon is not always moving away from the Earth. Not obviously, unless these pictures are lies. And I mean, then then we have another issue. If the pictures aren't real pictures of the moon, and or this isn't real, really the Earth, then we have another issue that's even pretty much bigger than that, even this. Well, I don't know. This is pretty big. And I'm not making this video to tell you that the moon's going to come back and hit the Earth. It probably will, but I'm not making it for that. I'm just, you know, trying to show you something very interesting that you could uh, check into yourself, and it'll answer a lot of things. You could, uh, I, I confirmed it by so in so many different ways. I mean, I know people know, and there's one video that I watch that I recommend everybody watch that watches this video right here. Once you understand that the moon has hit the Earth, and you and you can comprehend that that's happened and by looking at the images, you can go and watch the Sailor Moon AI No Sanctuary musical on YouTube. I got I got have the playlist on my channel, and you watch that, and you pay very close attention to the words of every word of that that musical. Every word. There's some parts you don't really need to pay attention to, but just do it just in case, right? So. Uh, Check that out. AI, no sanctuary. Sailor Moon. It it contains more truth than anything I've ever seen in my life. Any video I've ever seen. Anything. And I'm 45. I've been around. I've seen a few things. And I'm telling you, that's the most truthful video you'll ever see. It's pre the truth presented in the most beautiful way you'll ever see. I mean, there could be somebody could do it. You know, probably better, but nobody has. So you better check that out. Um, and I don't want to make the video too long, but, but anyways, check that out. South Pole of the Moon definitely hits this spot on the Earth and many others. It hits down here, too, right here. This hits this spot, too. So uh, that's what makes that's what shapes our Earth, people. This one and Mare Oriental. Mare Oriental Basin on, on the Moon absolutely shapes the other half of the Earth, basically. It hits the same spots this one hits. Mare Oriental has hit here, too, and probably down here, too all over the place just like this one it hits the same spots until it, until it moves the the earth off off its uh you know it changes its orbit once in a while big time and these haven't always been our, our north and south poles we know that well they've been they have been for a long time it hasn't knocked us off 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 our orbit for a long time but it does put us into ice ages and it does probably knock us out of ice ages or whatever you know it's hard to hard to, to see that. I'm not a scientist, but I'm telling you that's what it that's what does it. I think it's impossible. Laugh if you want, but I am right. So I'm gonna let, end it there. Let you check it out on your own. So I just thought to share that with you. Have a good day.